it does. Now we're back to my screen share. All right, let's go through the weekly numbers. So, got a new format here. Hope everybody likes this right here. So, we love starting it off each week with our top five producers. Um, but first, I am going to recognize everybody in our group verbally who did over 3,000 in a week. We've got Rocco Pearson at 3,076, Laura Davis, 3,733. James Martinez, 4,412, Betsy Barr at 4,761, and Paul Sharp, 4,849. Get into our top five. You guys see it there. Mr. Brian Howell, 5,177. Mr. Val Zarn, 5,861. Number three, Jeff Miller, 7,549. Number two spot, Mr. DJ Robinson, 9,526. And we got Matt. Costa. Way to go, Matt. 9,606. Way to go, buddy. It's good stuff, man. Really good stuff. All right. Getting into our top three app count for the week. We got Jeff Miller with five applications. We also had, I want to recognize him. He didn't make the top three in that because uh, we go by APV, but Christopher McKenzie, Chris McKenzie also had five applications. Way to go, Chris McKenzie. Number two spot, Mr. DJ Robinson, eight applications this past week. And Laura Davis, no stranger to the app count leaderboard. Way to go, Laura. Nine applications this past week. Want to recognize everybody that 10 or more interviews this past week. My man, Mr. Mark Neubauer, the myth, the legend. Uh, did one, uh, did over 10 interviews this past week, even why Agency Owner Academy and Brian Hamby. And some people may be saying, but wait, but wait, I had some people that were on there. Well, Miss Tina tells me if you get it in by 9 a.m. Eastern, uh, her time, we then recognize those people from the board. Remember, if you don't, and you can send these in on Saturday or Sunday to your leaders, and your leaders may be begging you guys to turn these in to you too. So it sometimes isn't even to the leaders. So just make sure you're getting that to our office by 9 a.m. on Mondays. If you're like, hey, I got this to my leader in time, well, then maybe you need to talk to your leader and make sure they send it to Miss Tina by 9 a.m. Eastern on Monday so we can recognize you guys on that right there. So if you're out there and saying, hey, wait, I did 10 or more interviews, just make sure you're getting those stuff in so we can give you proper recognition for you guys. Uh, top recruiters this past week, We've got top three. Uh, we got top two here. I'm going to call out Joe Martinez with two. And we got Brian Howell with five new recruits this past week. Way to go, everybody that made that leaderboards. New writers, which I love. If you go out and you interview enough people, you contract people. Well, guess what? You're also going to find people that go out and start writing. Congratulations to Kyle Stamps, part of the Brian Howell team. Savannah Merchant, part of the Jordan and Jared Gillum organization and Nisha Morcello, part of the Joe Martinez growing organization, our top writer for the week at 1,724 in premium. Way to go, Nisha. Welcome aboard, Nisha, Savannah, and Kyle. So very proud of you guys. Top agencies this past week. We're going to recognize the top three. We got Jeffrey Miller, key leader uh, organization, 18,493. We got the Val Zarn Agency at 18,544 coming to the number two spot. And the man, the myth, the legend himself going to be on the call today, Mr. Mark Neubauer and his agency, 32,510. Way to go, Mark. Good stuff. It's almost like I've got Val and Mark on here for a reason. <laughs> They're the top two groups this past week. So way to go. And they were at Agency Owner Academy this past week doing it. Top agencies in building. Recognizing the top groups in that, we've got Joe Martinez, key leader organization with two new recruits this past week. We've got the Neubauer Agency with three and Jeff Miller Agency with six this past week. And the cool part is I think Martinez and Miller, they won't be KLs too much longer, Mark, I don't think. What about you, buddy? I don't think they will be. Uh, and then look at this. If you really look at it, the whole hierarchy for the Newbauer Agency, that's 11 new recruits for the Newbauer Agency is a hierarchy this past week. So I know that's a proud papa in the background over there. So good stuff, Newbauer Agency. Really love seeing those numbers. That's really strong stuff, really strong stuff. You want to build a big agency, it all starts with recruiting. So 
Good stuff on that right there, folks. All right, I think I covered all of that that I wanted to cover. Now let's get into, just got a couple of um, notes here. Contest updates. I wanna give you guys some contest updates. Bear with me, I will have to look at my phone for that right there. So, all right, contest updates. All right, now first I'm gonna cover the Epcot Epcot contest that we've got going on, which was the qualification qualification period was five or more new people registered for conference from July 19th through September 1st. If you win this contest, you and the agency owner, um, us and the agency owner, that your agency owner will split, making sure that you have a ticket to go with us to celebrate on that Tuesday out in Epcot. Uh, some good times out there and be able to associate with a lot of the leaders that we've got going to Epcot on the night on the that Tuesday of that week. So here's who currently is qualified for that. Jeffrey Miller already has five new. So way to go, Jeffrey Miller. I already qualified for that. So you got you a ticket to Epcot, buddy. That's a good, good job, man. And we've got uh, three people waiting in the wings that can easily qualify. We've got Brian Hamby already with two, Rochelle Singleton with two, and Brian Howell with two. So all three of them can go qualify for a free ticket to Epcot. Just got to get three more people here in the next few weeks. So I'm sure that'll be a layup. All right. Another contest that we're talking about is the free hotel stay. That's three nights. Uh, this is about a four... $450 a night room that we're talking about. It's regular room stay. But though, if you've ever been to this hotel, the Los Portofino, Google it if you haven't, and you're just going to check out some very sharp rooms, very nice rooms. But people, let me tell you, you got an opportunity to win those three nights, which is a huge value if you're going there. And uh, currently, anybody out there, as long as you have the most people registered outside of a key leader or agency owner, you can qualify for this. So if you're brand new with us, don't think you can't qualify, um, but here's the top, top two. So here's the two people in your target. You got Brian Hamby at the number two spot with five people registered for a conference. And you've got Mr. Brian Howe currently leading that contest for a three night stay with seven people registered to go to conference. So way to go. Now for the sweet, sweet contest. The sweet, sweet contest, a lot of people get this confused. They think they're not in it. It includes key leaders and agency owners, but anybody out there can qualify. Anybody out there can qualify. Here are the top, I'm gonna to call out the one, two, three, I'm gonna call it the top five for that contest. Currently in number five spot, we got Elijah Crujo with 14. The number four spot is Val Zarn with 18. Number three spot is last year's champions, Jordan and Jerry Gillum, 19. Number two spot, Mr. Mark Neubauer, 22. And number one is Mr. Joe Martinez with 32 currently registered to go to conference. So way to go, Joe Martinez, currently leading the way. So really strong numbers by everybody there. Um, I wonder if anybody can catch Joe. I know Joe, he's probably not done in recruiting. So uh, that's probably going to be a fantastic thing there to see that. So. Let me make a minor adjustment. Uh, but all right, I think we got everybody in from the, the other stuff. So, hey, there you go, guys. There's the stuff for that right there. Also, Lauren, want to be announced on this right here, reminders for conference, book your room as soon as possible. Once they're gone, they're gone. There are less than 20 rooms left at the Lowe's Portofino. And once they are gone, they are gone. And my encouragement, if you have a ticket to conference or leaders, hear me, get with your teams, be intentional about this. You want your team staying there because we realize that hotel is so much cheaper at a, at a cheaper rate that we've negotiated. It's $169 a night for a $400, $450 a night room. It's going to make it so much easier for them to join a conference. So be intentional. There's less than 20 left. And we are sharing this with the young organization so they could just as easily go in and gobble it up today themselves. So uh, the link in confirmation email after registering for conference, that's where you can find that. Uh, everyone, and here's another note that I wanted me to share with you guys. Everyone must have a ticket, even if only going to welcome reception. 
So if, if you have a person that's coming with you and they're just going to the welcome reception, they will still need a ticket to be able to get into that. Um, and then also uh, wanted just informational stuff here. There are no kids at the welcome reception or conference. Uh, includes my kids. I've got kids too, so I get it. Uh, there's no kids uh, at the welcome reception or conference. Uh, we will start conference at 9 a.m. that Thursday. 9 a.m. that Thursday, we'll break for lunch at 11. We'll come back and get started at 1 p.m. and we'll go to 7 p.m. But we're going to give you guys two days of some awesome, awesome association and training with our best and brightest out there. So I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are too, because I think it's going to be super fantastic. So I think you covered everything there. Boom. I think I did. All right. Let's do this. James Martinez, you out there, buddy? Yeah, I'm here. here. Hey, man. Check, check. How you doing? Pretty, pretty good. By yourself. Man, I, I got you loud and clear. So you and your brother Joe, you share the same thing. Both of you have like a jackalope, a skeleton in your background. So what's this about? Oh, that? That's yeah. uh, I was from 2016. I went hunting. I shot a 10-point deer. Oh, it's, it's a deer. It's like yeah. a jackalope to me. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, man. Yeah. That's awesome. I love it. You even got the bullet chamber there. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> nice. Was that when you were hunting down in Texas? Yep. I love it, buddy. Well, now you're hunting out in Arizona, my friends. Well, hey, um, super awesome that you're here on the call with us today. And I know you're going to do book of the month. So let everybody know what book of the month is, how it can impact their business and how it's impacting yours and how it relates to this business, man. Okay. All right. Uh, the book of the month uh, for that, for those who uh, haven't really jumped on, it's uh, The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. And uh, just to touch up a little bit, what we did, uh, kind of went over last week, was kind of going over resistance and how that impacts you uh, from doing your daily chores, your work. Um, and there's different kinds of resistance. It comes in many different forms, you know, not just procrastination. It could be, you know, fear from starting something as well. Uh, having self-doubt is another resistance, criticism. Uh, just not being, you know, unhappiness with yourself. It's another resistance, uh, you know, when people are taking medications for, you know, depression, you know, that's part of resistance from letting you, you know, be who you actually are for yourself. Um, so that was kind of touch up some of the stuff we did from last week. Uh, coming on this week here, uh, resistance, we're kind of going over uh, that it can be beaten. And how that's done is by combating resistance, by turning yourself into a pro. And what that means, uh, it's just, you know, for professionals and amateurs and kind of go and play with what we're doing here as well. Uh, maybe the term of the kind of the professionals, you know, showing up every day, uh, showing up no matter what, you know, if you're sick, it's just like a regular job. You're gonna show up to work, regardless if you have a little sick or fever. I mean, every day you're going to show up no matter what, uh, you know, saying to the jobs completed, you know, I mean, hey, I'm going to still dial until I get my 10 appointments. I'm not going to just, you know, stop where, you know, I just get one or two and I still haven't met my goal for the week. You're going to say to you complete it, whether that means, you know, continuing to the next day or where the main case may be for the week. Um, and then for a professional, you know, the stakes are higher. You I mean, you, this is your full-time job. It's not just a part-time. So you don't have nothing to fall back on versus, you know, some people may consider, you know, not even a part-time amateur, but, you know, just maybe just doing it, you know, where people try have a part-time job, but they're just kind of like doing this when they have a chance, you know, here an hour, not being consistent. And that's just kind of just, not getting to that professional level where it needs to be done here as well. So the amateur, you know, doesn't show up every day, doesn't plug into the cause every day, you know, it's just here, not reliable kind of kind of thing. Uh, doesn't show up no matter what, the slightest thing, he's, you know, you're not, he's not to be found kind of ghost. <laughs> I know we all have agents like that. <laughs> um, and then he doesn't say to the job's complete. So, you know, the slightest, slightest thing he just you know kind of gives up and 
doesn't continue, you know, push through, he's not committed. Um, the amateur basically hasn't mastered the technique, well, which call we call the symmetry, you know, plugging in full. So pretty much the way I see it, he doesn't have the key all the way in, so he's not fully plugged in. So uh, you don't see him on the calls, you don't see him engage, uh, they don't dial, you know, get in their appointments. Uh, so that's the way I see it. We're kind of the professional in our business. You know, you want to make sure there's no excuses. You know, you're doing what you need to be done here to, you know, to get the job done. I know the professional is always prepared and how we prepare ourselves every day. A major thing is, you know, waking up, exercising, preparing your mind, you know, reading the books you know, having the toughness because then you get beat up on the phones. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, you have to have a tough mind, you know, being able to take the nose. Some people can't take the nose, uh, you know, regardless of what kind of background you have. Uh, so just reading these books, I think, play a big part of helping our mindset. Um, I'm firsthand, you know, uh, just by personal experience, you know, uh, when I first came in, uh, I'm not going to read the book. I'm not going to do it. And hey, when I got on the phones, I was just. It was tough. <laughs> it was tough. But once I started plugging into the, the daily huddles, uh, reading my book, it just it just helped me, you know, waking up, exercising, uh, you know, makes a big difference. So, you know, I just keep moving forward. You know, also a professional doesn't take failure. It just keeps moving forward no matter what. You know, you got to take the good days with the bad days. You mean, at the end, it's going to balance out. And that's what we always say in the six-week period. So, it's, you know, one week, maybe you don't have anything. And, or all week and then Friday, boom, you have like six applications, you know, it's going to come, you know, it's, it's just, you just got to keep moving forward. Uh, just do whatever it takes to get the day done. Um, um, and resistance, you know, your day, your daily battle is resistance, you know, that's who the enemy is. So uh, the battle is really in your own head. So that's why it's very important, you know, to be continuing to read, to strengthen and toughen your mind every day. Uh, inside, you know, physically, you know, your health as well. Uh, just prepare to fight, you know, that resistance, you know, it's an everyday battle. Don't let it beat you. You know, at first, it's going to be hard when you first come in because it's, you know, you're not used to it. You're not accustomed to it. Uh, so it's just like a daily habit. You got to keep building. It's going to take time, you know, as it goes on, the resistance of the daily just dialing or running your appointments, it's just going to become second nature and it's going to be easier as it becomes, you know, the more you read, the more you develop your mind and your mindset. Um, and just going it from there, um, that's kind of what I got from that. And then just using it as every day, like I said, just making sure you're engaged, uh, you're plugged into everything and just follow the system. I mean, when in doubt, don't try to change anything around or doing anything yourself. I mean, from what I got, I mean, firsthand it helped me. Um, I know when I, I know it notices in my business when I'm not fully plugged in. Sometimes I still, I'm a victim to that. You know, where I'm not plugged in, where I'm not reading every day, or something happens, and, and it notices and it reflects off my work. So I mean, I could just say, just it's an everyday battle. Just you know, just gotta stick with it and just be engaged. And the best way is just you know, be engaged with everybody with the plug, and it helps. You know, that's what I could tell for new agents or, or people who are struggling, just stay plugged in and keep moving on. I love it. James, I saw where last month or yeah, last month you wrote, I think it was just a little bit, let's see, 10,174 in premium. First week of this month, just show you your growth curve, man. You did 4,412. So you're on pace to like darn near double your numbers, man. So good stuff, buddy. And, you know, my question is, you know, so do you think reading is helping you fight resistance? Absolutely. It, it helps me it just puts you in a positive set. And just to start off, I mean, just anything helps, whether it's the book of the month or anything you're reading, it's just being engaged in these books or and then even exercising, walking, you know, I'm starting to do that again. <laughs> I mean, I kind of slacked off and it, it was noticing it's all just, it's just been a lot better. So huge, buddy. Yeah. I just hope everybody hears, you know, James's story. It's like, 
just understand like the, the simple things are simple to do, but also they're just as simple not to do. And, and I would just encourage everybody like we're reading the book of the month. It's the war of art. And my challenge to you is, can you just read 10 pages a day? We're not saying take over the world. We're saying start your day out with 10 pages a day and see if it doesn't help you fight resistance. And that's my challenge. It's certainly it's helping James. It's helping so many agents. It helps all of our leaders. All of our leaders are engaged in reading. That's the reason you see our group growing. And I just challenge everybody out there to really take heart with that. And if you're not reading, don't beat yourself up. You can't do anything about the past. What I would say is, can you start today and look forward? So that'd be a challenge to you. Get that the war of art and uh, see if that doesn't make a difference. Do you have a process? There's another question. Amateurs don't have a process. They may have goals. They don't have a process. Professionals have a process. So another challenge there for you guys. Think about it. Do you have a process? Thank you, James Martinez. Appreciate the example you're setting, buddy. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, my man. All right. Let's see who I got here in the catbird seat. Mark Neubauer. Hello. Good What's morning. up, sir? How you doing, man? I'm doing fantastic. Dude, not too shabby. Last two months, folks, his group's done right at 400,000 in production just in the last two months. Pretty incredible because they're already near 900,000, maybe over 900,000 now for the year, closing in on a million in premium. And to think of that, Mark, just show your growth curve, almost 50% of that is in the last two months. You know what I mean? And uh, so, so proud of you, buddy. Proud of you getting over. You had a big thing that you you had an epic journey this past week where you went over to Agency Owner Academy. And um, and I know me and you, you know, had, had primed a little bit for this call and stuff. But I really wanted just to pry out of you, man. Um, you went over to Asheville, North Carolina, all the way from Phoenix, Arizona. Um, what was your takeaway from Agency Owner Academy? What was your What was your first takeaway you had from it, buddy? I mean, it blew my mind in terms of, of association and education um, and cementing a vision for me uh, stronger than ever as to what I want out of this business and what I, in, what I will be accomplishing in this business, uh, no matter what it takes. So, um, Barring all things, not not that that would interfere with morals or ethics, right? Um, <laughs> right, yes, sir. <laughs> no, it was amazing. Val and Jordan and Jared and I just blew up that town first and foremost. Um, <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> yeah. um, I had the best time with the best people, and and it's that. And I'm not just saying this because it's it's fun to party. Uh, we did a little of that, but it was <laughs> I like to party, right, Jordan? Um, <laughs> hey, yeah. No, no, I like to party. Um, that's a, a hot rod joke. Um, so, but we had so much fun because here we are associating with people that, you know, are in the same boat as us. Um, everybody's got similar challenges. Everybody's got similar opportunities. And it's so great to connect with people on a deeper level than you ever could on, on Zoom or a phone call. Um, these are people that I've seen on national calls, you know, once, if not several times, been enamored by what they had to say. What they've had to say has resonated with me. Um, but this was a chance to really, really connect with people in a way that transcends the business, if you will. And that's all the way up to Brandon, Casey, um, Brian Williamson, just some uh, Todd Resma, or should I say Todd Resma? No, Mike Resma. Mike Resma. Mike Resma. Yeah. I was like, is he got a brother? <laughs> yeah, right. He's not, yeah, his brother's quieter than him. Um, no, but Mike Resma, <laughs> Todd, I like Todd. Lit up that room. Um, and of course, Todd, Todd Spivey and, and uh, Brendan, our right. uh, chief financial guy, he's, he's just incredible. So on the people side, I couldn't have been impacted more. If I did, I'd, I'd probably be in a hospital somewhere. Um, as far as the education goes, wow. The, what my takeaway, Chris, is a little is shorter and more succinct as far as, as what I got out of that. We are, for leaders... Brand new agents, yes, we have an amazing opportunity to help families all over the country um, in a couple different ways, right? By providing them protection, 
and and what I call it, saving them from the nine to five, right? The employee mindset and getting on that right right side of the Kiyosaki uh, quadrant. So that's an amazing opportunity right there. That said, um, we I almost said but Jordan. That said, um, we are on a very fast path to becoming the equivalent of an Amazon, a Netflix, an Uber. Um, we are well on our way to becoming one of the most um, impactful fintech companies in the country. Um, so this goes well beyond insurance. It's everything that drives what we're doing in the field of insurance. But to have a company that's on its way to become a multi-billion dollar um, you know, company that will stand out among all companies like an Amazon, a Hulu, a Netflix. It's also going to just be a domineering force in, in the insurance industry as a whole. I mean, these guys are changing the way that, that we do business and they're going to change the way everybody else does business too. I don't know if everybody remembers, but when COVID hit, we were on video, other people were standing six feet away from a screen door yelling through it in hopes they could get an appointment done on somebody's front lawn. Um, and it's not easy to hear through those masks. So that's, that's just a little microcosm of what we're accomplishing here. But what I want to say about that is, guys, you know, nothing glamorous about picking up the phone a thousand times a week, right? Um, it hurts. It's painful. Um, but, but growth is painful. And this is, the, this is the barrier to entry, right? We're not sending you down to a coal mine. We're not asking you to climb Mount Everest, right? It's about picking up the phone. I'm, I'm talking to new agents because I know that's the hardest part of this job is getting started. But if somebody said, hey, here's, here's your DeLorean, right? Crank it up to 88, right, Chris? Go back to the beginning of Facebook, Netflix, Amazon. You're going to be on the ground floor and you're going to have the opportunity to earn equity in that company for just doing your job. You don't have to do anything extra or crazy. There's no special program. It's just doing your job and you're going to own equity ownership in a Facebook, a Netflix, or an Amazon. Uh, would you do it? I hope everybody here says yes, because if you say no, you're in the wrong boat. Um, it's, it's about building a business. And uh, as JC says, right, I'm not a businessman. I'm a businessman or woman. So go get it, go get it, go get it. We've got some amazing things and it's just starting now. Since that announcement last August, this company went from being an IMO to a FinTech, you know, mega player. So be a part of it. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, you think about really how can people capture, like say somebody's starting right now or, or you know, say you've got an agency, how much more of a priority is it to get people now? Because we know an elixir for our business was in your business. I mean, dude, you did 400,000 just in the last two months. Where did all that start and where will it continue and where will it ramp up from there? And what's the key for people to get people to conference? Because that's obviously what we're going to lead to, right? That's right. Well, it started with broke Mark five years ago, uh, struggling with a couple, one too many startups and needing an income. So I didn't have to get in line at the grocery store and put the bananas back because I was a little over. Um, to us listening to your mentorship in the beginning without knowing why it made sense or an end despite the fact that I, I couldn't afford it at the time, you said, get to North Carolina. That's where, that's where our first national conference was uh, just 30 days after I was hired. And I said, wait, no, and I got to learn this. I got to see if this works. I got to do this. I can't, I'm not, and I, you want me to buy a plane ticket to North Carolina? No. Uh, and guess what? We didn't. Me and Steve Devine and about six others jumped in a van and we drove 11 hours to get to North Carolina and we stayed in the cheapest motel that, that I still have nightmares about because we shambled for who had to sleep on the floor and guess who lost. Um, nothing like the luxurious accommodations that Valzarn and I had this week, uh, which was, mwah, I love spending time with Valzarn. So I love you, brother. It was so great spending time together and getting to know each other. Um, but getting to that conference and understanding what this really, really was. I mean, we could explain it all day. And I've, I've talked about the analogy, like my wife had a baby. 
we had a baby, but she had the baby, right? I will never, ever, ever be able to describe to another man or woman what it's like to have a baby, right? I would have to go have one like Arnold Schwarzenegger did in junior in order to understand what having a baby is like, right? So that's what conference is, guys. And it really is like having a baby if you're serious about your business. Because one of the great things I, I heard that I know you've said, Chris, but it's so great hearing an agency owner academy, for something to be reproducible, it must be intentional. And if it's not intentional, it won't be reproduced. And if you're not going to conference, you're not being intentional about your business. You don't buy a Subway franchise and then they have a national training for franchisees on how to, you know, cut the bread and make the sandwiches and do it right or you're not a franchisee anymore. You don't just say, well, I can't, I can't. I just put all this effort into getting the franchise, but I got a wedding to go to. I can't afford it. I can't this, I can't that. Those can'ts are resistance. And if you're reading The War of Art, you know that it's, pardon my French, but you know it's just your own bullshit. Um, and and I, I say that boldly because it, it just is. And you, you need to overcome that. And if you overcome that, you're going to grow through it. So I just urge each and every one of you that has that. And if, and if you want me to put it softer, it's self-limiting beliefs, right? I mean, our bullshit comes from things that may not be our fault. It comes from our surroundings. It comes from people that raised us, people that, that we surrounded ourselves with, all that good stuff. But now it's time to shed the weight, right? You guys heard James. He covered the book so, so well. It's about getting that resistance out of the way. And if you're scared to talk to your upline about it, your bullshit meter is probably just going off, off the charts, right? The, the mercury is spilling. It's time to call somebody and say, look, I just can't make sense of going and here's why. And it might come down to not affording it. You know, that's what it was for me. But we did figure it out. We went. And now, you know, I, I've been honored to be named, you know, number one agency owner in the country a couple times in the last couple of months. We've got a freight train running on the Miller Martinez uh, Howell side of things. Uh, Betsy Barr is blowing up her business, changed her life, you know, from, from missionary to teacher to saving educators and, and business people and families everywhere. Millions and millions of dollars in interest going to these evil institutions we call the banks. So, that's, that's what I have to say, guys, is just get registered today. Stop, stop kidding yourself. And if, if I, I'm not going to say what Val Bazarn says, because he's next. So, but guys, stop kidding yourself. And uh, I'll let Val take it from there. I love it, man. I love it. Really great stuff, buddy. Appreciate you, man. Love it, buddy. You guys, too. Thank you. Mr. Val uh, two times. Yes, sir. You're the word name winner did, did nice Brandon recognize you over at agency owner academy he did not i was quite disappointed i did get to give my accept, acceptance speech on the on the um the hobnobbing with the owners though so that ah, was kind of cool nice well there you go so it's okay. official yeah it's official <laughs> yeah i'm out and say well good well good you, you deserve it buddy um well man i appreciate you getting on the call today i know you went over to agency owner academy to, uh, as well and um also i know you know you got some some serious news to share with all of us too. And I, and I certainly think we want to take just a couple of minutes and do that as well. And um, so I'm going to turn it over to you, buddy. Thank you, sir. Sir, thank you for the opportunity. And I really, really excited getting back from uh, AC Owner Academy and having a couple of moments here to share with you. Uh, before we dive into that, I do have uh, an update or kind of heads up, let you guys know uh, some heavy news, kind of warn you there. Um, for those of you who know, Shane Dez. Uh, he's an amazing, amazing individual. So sorry, I don't know um, how old he was exactly. He was over 70 years old, played tennis every single day, went for jogs and walked his dog every morning. And last Sunday, um, he had a blood clot moved to the wrong area there. And uh, the prognosis is not good. Uh, so please uh, keep him in your thoughts and prayers um, today for uh, him, his family, um, his kids, and all of that. So just want to let you guys know that. And we'll keep you posted as far as any um, updates as far as that goes. So. Absolutely. And, and for those of you, you know, that never got to meet him in person, you know, you did probably see his spirit on, you know, back in the day of group me and now band. He was always such an uplifting spirit, encouraging other people. So definitely our thoughts and prayers from Cook Financial Group, all of us go out to Shane Des and his family today. So heavy hearts. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, heavy hearts. I appreciate that. 
All right. So moving on to um, kind of like takeaways and the excitement that was shared at Agency Owner Academy. It's hard to go from from that to this right. because it's it's such a such a contrast. Um, yeah. But with with coming back, you know, some of the mm -hmm. takeaways I have, Chris, are just uh, I think one of the main takeaways is how the how it's the, how it's as so evident that the company truly embraces our core values. Um, Brandon and Casey were there. The the CEOs of a billion dollar company were there with us, sharing with us, pouring into us. Um, and it was more of a conversation, Chris. It wasn't even like their part of it wasn't so much of as an agenda as like, hey, guys, here's what's kind of going on. You know, you, you have questions, you have this sort of thing. And it was just it was truly, truly amazing. And then one of the evenings we had a really, really nice dinner, of course, sponsored by them. And Casey came by and, you know, we just had a good time just taking pictures and chatting. And it was, it was amazing. Talk about a unique opportunity there. You all got to get to agency so you can get the agency owner academy <laughs> agency owner so anyways um there was a huge focus on personal development um we did some super super impactful exercises um it's amazing how what you can get done in two minutes so we, chris we did like these two minute exercises where you're reflecting where you're like painting these mind pictures and uh when you're truly focused on something like that i mean Wow. I mean, those, that, those two minute intervals, uh, some of those were, were some of the most impactful things coming out. Um, the company's committed to ongoing business development. We talk about ongoing personal development as one of our core values. It is clear, Chris, like some of the things that are coming down, and I know you know a lot of these things, and they kind of alluded to some others, but there's, you know, over $10 million going into just technology um, over the next year. I mean, what's going to come of that? How much, do, how much of that are they expecting from us to contribute, <laughs> right? Our sweat equity is all we have to pay. We got to pay, but it is, um, sorry, that was my son trying to FaceTime me. Hopefully he's okay. I'll call him right back. <laughs> he's fine. Um, so we just got to pay with our sweat, sweat equity. Like I love Mark and I were talking. It's like, you know, we have, uh, we have our hands right now, all of us on the call um, on a million dollar franchise, right? And here's the great thing, guys. They waive the million dollar fee, but we do have to we do have to pay for it in our sweat equity. Because I promise you this, there's far more income here than owning a McDonald's. And a McDonald's doesn't cost a million dollars. It costs a lot more. So tons of things on the horizon that'll blow your mind. And now is truly time to build your business. Now, now, now is the time. Okay. We we're faced with with life and reality every single day. Um, life is precious, life is short. Tomorrow's not guaranteed to anybody, folks. Like, who are we going to impact today? What families are going to impact today? And we do that by helping our families as far as the policies that we write. But far more impactful, far more long-lasting is when we recruit somebody to this and they see the vision and move forward and affect their lives the way that my life has been affected by you, Chris, and Lauren, for thinking of me enough. Like, I cringe. I don't think about it because I cringe when I do think about it, where I would be today if you didn't give me a call, man, because... No telling. I'm so thankful. Who do you know that will thank you? Like I thank Chris every opportunity I get for thinking enough of me. Think about that statement, guys and gals. Chris thought enough of me to call someone that on the outside looked good, smelled good, but was broke. You know, broken and broken. And what a difference it's made. It's been profound. Um, we're on a rocket ship, guys. We're in a rocket ship. Check this out, Chris. I know you know this stat, but there's some new people on the call. Our, keep in mind, we've been in this thing called COVID since March. In the last year, our weekly, this is not annual, this is not monthly, this is weekly, our weekly sales have grown an increase of a million dollars a week in the last year. That's mind-blowing in and of itself, and, but we're just getting started. Right to think that that's happening right now, and we're just getting started. So again, now is the time. Uh, vision for the future, uh, bigger than ever. Like it, blow, it, like when you have that sort of association with that caliber of people. By the way, it wasn't just Brandon and Casey; it was all the other agency owners that we got to spend time with. And that association at that high level was just amazing. And one of our core values is we have fun and get stuff done. I have to make sure to give that equal weight because that is my favorite one by far. And for you who know me, know that that's true. <laughs> All right. Um, 
And one of the biggest takeaway before I talk about the importance of confidence, spend one minute on that. Um, biggest, one of my biggest takeaways is that Mark Neubauer is even cooler than I already thought he was. So I got to spend some really, really great time with Mark. Uh, I've been we shared it a call. All along, buddy. I know, right? I believed it. I believed it, but it was like, like next level stuff there, man. Really, really super cool. Um, so getting around people like Mark, getting around people like Chris, getting around people like I shouldn't have started naming names. I'm going to stop there. Okay. Because the, the leadership and the, the people that we have on our team are just amazing. I mean, just amazing getting around them and just having a little bit of that rub off on you, like getting around and associating with the right people. There's only one way to do that. Okay. Relationships, by the way, are made on proximity and frequency. And by the way, proximity doesn't count over zoom. Yes, it's important, but when they talk about proximity, they're talking about physical proximity and we don't get a chance to do it a lot. We have an amazing, unique opportunity uh, coming up here in just, oh my gosh, Chris, how many days is it? 30 days? That's my oh, camera going yeah. on. Yeah, Barely, right? right? So um, there's no other way to do that except get there. So get there. My yeah. time's up. I love it, man. Hey, you know, and the, the crazy part is, it, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people in the company chose, because you just mentioned it, they chose to have a virtual conference and they chose back in March to do it um, virtually. And look at the impact, the difference between us not going virtually and us having it in person. Does that make sense? And Absolutely. if you look, what a huge blessing it's been to our organization because we have I mean, our trajectory of the company, I think we're the fastest growing organization inside of Symmetry right now. It's because we have a great chemistry, great chemistry with a great group of people. And we just want to share that people with a lot more people. You know, with me, it's really what we want to do. And, and I should encourage you guys out there, if you're brand new, just realize how special it is right now. I've been a part of this industry for a long time. This is a very special time to be a part of Symmetry, to be a part of our group, because we have such a great chemistry right now. And, um, you, you know, it's just like uh, you have the opportunity of a lifetime, right? And, and you know, and Val, you saying those words about, hey, thought enough of you to call. And it's just, man, I want you to know how much joy it is just to know that that you did it. Don't get me wrong. This was all you. You did it because you went in, you put the work in, and you've done the stuff that you've done. But man, it's pretty cool to know that I was on the other end of that call, and then and and I get to see you out there enjoying life with the Gillums, enjoying life with Mark Newbauer, and getting to go to your your boys' water polo games. You know what I mean? And, and getting to enjoy time with your little girl, and getting to enjoy time with your family. Man, I just that's awesome right that's good stuff what that's i hard. encourage one of you is out there what you may not realize is one of you know somebody like me or val or mark you know somebody they they look like they're happy at what they're doing but if they were just exposed to this this could change their life this could change their life i had to answer a newspaper ad i had to answer a newspaper ad back when people answered newspaper ads by the way so it dates me a little bit but I had to answer a newspaper ad. Nobody shared it with me. But I promise you, if somebody would have shared this with me, I'd been like, hold on, I'm ready. Let's do this. This is going to be fun, right? And all of you have that opportunity of a lifetime to go out and share it with somebody. And I just encourage you, like, don't be, don't act like this is the thing that you have to prove you're awesome at before you go out and recruit and bring people to conference. Me and my wife started two weeks before conference back in 2014 two weeks we brought 13 people with us right two weeks and 13 people my challenge for any of you we're four weeks out bring 10 15 20 people with you you're going to be amazed at what it does in the chemistry if you get around the right number of people anything else you want to add there Val? no i mean i just one last thing casey said something that was super impactful and it has and it kind of pivots around recruiting and it ties into this getting the conference piece that when we ask people what are you looking for 99 times out of 100 people are responding with the with the uh with sort of the 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 vehicle right the vehicle is is you know making sales and making a commission right but he says he says dive further and i want you guys to dive further in your thought process not so focused on the vehicle focus on the result right okay that's the vehicle I understand that completely. But what result are you looking for? Nobody grew up thinking they're going to be an insurance sales person when they grew up. I mean, I don't, I don't think anyone did. There might be one out there, 
Okay. Yes, sir. So the vehicle sense. is not nearly as important as the result that we're getting. The way that you get the result is to plug completely in. And this is the most important event of the entire year. Boom. I love it, guys. Hey, in the company, check this out. I was just writing down some stuff. So you business minded people out there, uh, ears, equity appreciation rights in this company that Mark and Val got to see firsthand how the evolution. Remember, Mark said this is young Amazon. This is young Uber, right? This company. So if we get a $2 billion valuation, you realize the owners of the company are giving away this year and next year in equity appreciation rights, 20% of the company. So if we get a $2 billion valuation, that's $400 million they will be giving away. If we get a $3 billion, which I roughly say we're already at a $3 billion, it's $600 million they're giving away. $600 million. If we get a $5 billion, which I predict is exactly where it'll be when these come to fruition, it will be $1 billion they're giving away to the agents of this company. What would you like of that to be a legacy that you can leave financially as well as an impact? for generations to come. That's some wealth building stuff. That's that's a lot of stuff and a lot of opportunity to go out and impact a lot of people's lives. So appreciate you guys. I uh, hope you got something out of that today. Thank you, James. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Val. Appreciate everybody. Have a great week. Thank y'all. Thanks.